I'm Cheryl Hung, and it is magical to be back for my 11th KubeCon Cloud Native Con. What excites me and keeps me coming back is seeing people discover Cloud Native for the first time, grow their careers, and transform into community and industry leaders, who then bring on the next generation of Cloud Natives. Going virtual has expanded KubeCon to people who could never have dreamed of attending previously. So whether this is your first KubeCon or you're a veteran, you're welcome, you're part of this community, and I want you to grow and to help others grow. Along with virtual events, COVID has accelerated everything cloud native. Over 80 projects now call CNCF home, and there's almost a thousand cloud native tools and frameworks on the CNCF landscape. Organizations are pushing the possibilities of where and how to deploy containers and Kubernetes. But to fully embrace cloud native, you're going to have to understand what's possible and what are the challenges you're going to face along the way. I lead the CNCF end user community. It's the largest end user community of any open source foundation or standards body with over 140 members. So I have a pretty unique view into how engineers solve thousands of problems across hundreds of different environments. Today, I'm going to reveal these insights from the CNCF end user community to you so you're equipped for your cloud native journey. Each year, the CNCF end user community votes to award one member the CNCF top end user award. Previous winners included Zalando, Intuit, Bloomberg, JD.com, and Didi. This year, I'm not only announcing the winner, but I've invited all of the nominees to share their cloud native journey with you and what the community means to them. But before we find out the winner, I want us to have a little bit of fun, KubeCon style. I'm going to challenge you to solve a small problem in the style of the CKS, or Certified Kubernetes Security Specialist Exam. At the end, I'll reveal the solution, and that solution will reveal the winner of the CNCF Top End User 2021. So I'm going to go over to the laptop. If you've taken the CKA, CKAD, or CKS certifications, this is going to look really familiar. So I'm in the Linux Foundation exam portal. On the left-hand side, I have the task that we're going to do today. And on the right-hand side, I have a terminal which links to a live cluster. First off, let's just take a quick look at the cluster itself, which I'm going to do with a quick get nodes. This looks like a really tiny cluster, just a master and a single worker. And then our task is in three parts. So the first task is to retrieve the content of the existing secret named credentials in the demo namespace. And I'm going to do that just to look at that. Cool. OK, I've seen that we have a credential secret. And credentials encodes the name of the winner of the top end user award. So when we find out the solution to this, we'll also find out the winner of the award itself. Our second part is to store the winner field and the password field into these two files, creating them as we go along. And then the third part is to use ccrypt and decrypt one from the other. I'm going to pause there and I'm going to ask you, what would you do in this situation? So head over to Slack, discuss it with other people, and we'll find out the solution at the end. OK, time to bring on our nominees to introduce themselves. We have one-on-one -on -one Mail and Media, Apple, CERN, Fidelity, Spotify, and Verizon Media. Hello, KubeCon and CloudNativeCon. I am Stefan from one-on-one -on -one Mail and Media in Germany. You may not have heard of us ever before, but probably you do know one of our brands, WebDE, GMX, or Mail.com. With these brands, we are Germany's biggest email provider. More than 40 million monthly active users trust our free email services. Additionally, we offer further services for personal information management, identity management, cloud-based file storage, and news portals. Apple revolutionized personal technology with the introduction of the Macintosh in 1984. Today, Apple leads the world in innovation with iPhone, iPad, Mac, Apple Watch, and Apple TV. 
Apple's five software platforms, iOS, iPadOS, macOS, watchOS, and tvOS, provide seamless experiences across all Apple devices and empower people with breakthrough services, including the App Store, Apple Music, Apple Pay, and iCloud. Apple's more than 100,000 employees are dedicated to making the best products on earth and to leaving the world better than we found it. CERN is the world's largest particle physics laboratory. Uh, it was founded in 1954 uh, with the main uh, goal being fundamental research. Uh, we try to understand the building blocks of the universe and for that we build uh, very large scientific experiments like the Large Hadron Collider. Fidelity Investment is 75 years old, a privately owned financial institution. We invested billions of dollars annually in game-changing technology platforms between big data, AIs, cloud computings, very forward-thinking ideas that are happening inside our Fidelity technology teams. Spotify launched in 2008, and today we are the world's most popular audio streaming subscription service. We have 345 million users, including 155 million subscribers, and we're live in 178 markets around the world. Our mission is to unlock the potential of human creativity by giving a million creative artists the opportunity to live off their art and billions of fans the opportunity to enjoy and be inspired by it. Hi, I'm Mujib Wuha from Verizon Media. As a Verizon Media Group, our brands like Yahoo, TechCrunch, Riot, and many more help people stay informed and entertained, communicate and transact while creating new ways for our advertisers and partners to connect with. With technologies like XR, AI, machine learning, and 5G, we are transforming media for tomorrow too. All right, first off, tell me why and how you're using cloud native. One of one mainnet media's cloud native journey started in 2017 with our first small Kubernetes cluster. Since then, the environment has grown to 16 clusters running on nearly 1,000 bare metal servers. This sums up to 55,000 usable CPU cores and 280 terabytes of RAM. The clusters are managed and operated centrally by a dedicated and highly skilled team of specialists. Access to the Kubernetes clusters is provided by a multi-tenancy setup. This provides easy but still isolated on-demand provisioning dynamic auto-scaling and efficient usage of available resources. The tight integration with our CI-CD system makes Kubernetes an attractive default platform for running our applications. This relieves the application DevOps teams from tedious and repetitive tasks so they can fully focus on providing business value instead. The core elements of our platform are CNCF projects like Kubernetes, etcd, Containerd, Prometheus and Open Policy Agent, Core DNS, Helm, and FluentD. And from the surrounding ecosystem, we happily use Traffic, Istio, Flatcar Linux, Calico, GitLab, and Grafana. Apple was using Mesos, but decided to transition to Kubernetes for scalability reasons. Our users are Java, Python, and Go developers who want to test and run their applications and containers and are interested in Kubernetes as part of their CI CD pipeline. We use a large number of CNCF projects, Kubernetes, Containerd, Envoy, Prometheus, Kubevert, etcd, Cryo, Opa, CoreDNS, Jaeger, Falco, and Helm. Our users want to adopt cloud-native tools for better debugging, logging, monitoring, and tracing of our applications. One of our main challenges is to make sure that we can keep up with the needs of our physicists as they produce larger and larger experiments. This means that we are always searching for new technologies and Kubernetes and the cloud native ecosystem and projects like Kubernetes, but also Prometheus, CoreDNS, FluentD, Containerd, and many others have made a huge impact by simplifying our infrastructure and letting us focus on, on the physics analysis itself. CNCF is allowing us to collaborate and to help building this unique solution it did shape the strategy for Fidelity and for multi-cloud strategy for all of our application workloads between using Kubernetes, between the innovation ideas around Envoy and Service Mesh, between the open telemetry solutions that are being provided by CNCF. It did shape our strategy to build the foundation for the next generation of the financial service platform built inside Fidelity. 
On Kubernetes, we are operating on 150 clusters running over 2,800 services across all stages of our software lifecycle. We have multi-tenant clusters running many different types of workloads, including ML jobs, media transcoding, data pipeline orchestration, and high-scale backend services. Using Kubernetes has significantly reduced our cost and increased our overall velocity. We also use a number of other CNCF projects such as Prometheus for monitoring and Argo rollouts for automated canary analysis and branch deployments. With a growing portfolio of media brands, right, we had n number of stack managed by n number of team, each team doing their own tools and platforms, and none of them were containerized. Additionally, we had our own in-house on-prem homegrown solution of pushing and deploying code. It was very, very painful and took a long time. When we decided to move towards immutable infrastructure and containerization, we evaluated a number of orchestration solutions and we picked Kubernetes, which was outstanding for its features. Today, um, we have one of the largest uh, Kubernetes on-prem cluster with over 2,500 plus applications, 34 plus production clusters, running in seven data centers and 8,000 plus node cluster. By moving service into container and using Kubernetes as an orchestration platform, helped us to reduce duplication, standardize the way we build and deploy code today, and also increased our cluster utilization and to add increased our product velocity and developer productivity. Next. What does the community mean to you? Mainland Media joined the CNCF in the beginning of 2020 as an end user supporter. Since then, we are regularly participating at the bi-weekly community meetings, usually with at least two people. In this meeting series, we already had multiple opportunities to share our experience and knowledge in short presentations. And of course, we regularly engage in the discussions. Additionally, we host local meetups and also speak at conferences like DevOpsCon, Container Days in Hamburg, and of course also at KubeCon, where we could enter the stage in 2019 in Barcelona, and at least virtually last year. On the more technical side, we also involve ourselves in many products we use, at least by reporting issues we find or adding more data to existing bug reports. Occasionally, we can also contribute by fixing smaller bugs ourselves. Apple joined the CNCF in 2019 as an end user supporter. We actively participate as speakers and attendees at community events like KubeCon and even shared our story in a keynote at KubeCon North America last year. Apple employees serve on committees and boards throughout the project, including the CNCF Governing Board, TOC, Steering Committee, and Release Team. We regularly participate in SIGs and employ a number of maintainers and core contributors to CNCF projects. Apple employees, such as Paris Pittman and myself, have received the Chop Wood and Carry Water Awards for our contributions to the community. So thank you very much, CNCF. It's been a very, very exciting journey until now, uh, working with everyone, with all the projects and the rest of the community. And we are really, really looking forward to what's coming next and to continue working together with everyone. In the past year, we contributed two projects to the open source community, KRAM and KConnect. We truly believe that also is going to help the community's project and will help them security and the governance side of the house. Um, I believe that with that focus and with that support and with that cost promotion between CNCF and Fidelity, we are sponsoring many bug groups at this moment and workshops, and we're helping our colleagues in other financial services and in other services, as a matter of fact, to help the CNCF strategy next year and to help with the roadmap around Kubernetes and about other projects that CNCF has. I truly believe it's all space and it will help Fidelity as it will help the community as well. Our flagship contribution in 2020 was Backstage, which is our open source developer portal. And the response from the community has been nothing short of extraordinary. In terms of adoption, we have 24 official company adopters, 79 companies are building a portal, 209 companies are interested in learning more, and these numbers are growing rapidly. We have 302 Git clones per week and 313 external contributors. And the project is adding six new contributors every week. 
We've been contributing to almost all of the CNCF projects that we use, whether it's documentation, issues, code, or speaking about them at various conferences and meetups. Most notably, we've been actively contributing code to Envoy, where one of our engineers is a core contributor. We've also done extensive work with gRPC and Kubernetes, where we've helped resolve numerous issues that we face during adoption with the community at large. Beyond code and projects, we've also been very active with the community. We have Spotify employees wearing many different hats across the NCS, including one of the co-chairs of the developer experience SIG in the end user community, and one of the end user representatives on the CNCS TOC. But it's not just hats that we wear for CNCF. We wear lots of other swag too, including ambassador crowns, program committee pins, and of course, the endless amount of great t-shirts for different roles that we have for CNCF. We've also given many talks at KubeCon, including multiple keynotes and as many as six talks in San Diego. And we've done lots and lots of different podcasts representing CNCF technologies. There are many reasons we love being part of a CNCF end user community. As a company, giving back to the open source community has always been very important to us. We have made upstream Kubernetes contribution in the form of issues and pull requests, specifically for Envoy and OPA. We also open source several Kubernetes uh, focused projects. So we also built and open sourced a certificate based authentication and authorization system, ATHETS to implement zero trust security principle in the platform. We are very excited that Athens is now part of the CNCF Sandbox project and, and we are looking forward to build a great community around it. It's actually incredible to see how Cloud Native has transformed these organizations and what these teams have achieved. So a huge thank you to you for sharing your stories. Let's go back to the laptop now, find out the solution and the winner for the top end user award 2021. Okay, so we were at the point of storing the winner and the password field into these two files. So let's take a closer look at that credential secret. And yeah, it looks like there is a password and a winner field here. So I'm going to take this and just echo it into these two files that I was told to. So I just got the winner one and I will do the same for password now. And then our third step was to use secrets to decrypt the winner field. And um, they've just given the entire command here. So what happens if I try this? Okay, looks like we screwed up somewhere because the key doesn't match. But the key doesn't match because we forgot that Kubernetes secrets are base64 encoded already by default, which means that there are actually two layers of encryption to deal with here. We have to decrypt the base64 and then we also have to decrypt with a password, but we can fix this. So let's go back to where we put the winner field into the into winner.txt and we're going to just decrypt it before it goes in. Okay, now let's try decrypting using secrets. And that's looking pretty good. So we should be able to find out the name of our winner. And it's Spotify. So <laughs> congratulations to Spotify. Congratulations to you two if you were following along and if you got the solution. Spotify have been an amazing member of our community. They've contributed so much through the projects, through donating their own projects, through the TOC and the different community groups. And I'd really like to thank them and welcome them back on again to say a few words. Wow, I can't believe we won. Thank you so much. Thanks to all the end user companies that voted for us. And thanks to all the companies that submitted nominations. We were truly humbled and really inspired to read the other nominations and still really can't believe that we won out over them. Thanks again to everyone at CNCF and everyone in this community. At Spotify, we're gonna build on this and try to do even more with this community in the next year. Thanks again, everyone. Congratulations to Spotify once again. Your award is on its way. And to sum up, Cloud Native is still accelerating. Deployments are getting bigger and more complex. But with the help of the community, you too can take charge of your own Cloud Native journey. If you want even more insights, go to cncf.io slash enduser 
and find out why your organization should join the CNCF end user community. This is Cheryl Hung, and I can't wait for you to show me what you can do.